Hello, I wanted to do a quick review of Death on Credit by Lou Ferdinand Celine. Um, so this this will be um, this will be an interesting review because I, I don't quite know how to approach it because the the shadow of the author and the shadow of the author's reputation looms large over this particular piece of work um, and and uh, over the the uh, his his previous work uh, Journey to the End of the Night which I've also read. Um, so yeah, quick. Quick background, Louis Ferdinand Céline was a early 20th century French author who published his first book, Journey to the End of the Night, in 1929, I believe. Um, it was going to read the, uh, it was going to win the uh, the French book prize, uh, the Prix Goncourt. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's, that's what it was. I could be wrong. Um, and it was so controversial that it wasn't awarded. Why? Because Journey to the End of the Night was a. <laughs> it wasn't. It, it, it was one of the first books to elevate colloquial French to an art. It is a remarkably um, earthy, stoppy, starty, uh, uh, mass of a book that is, it is it's intelligent and it is funny and it is terrible. <laughs> and uh, the author's personality. Um, here's how I'll sum up the author's personality. Um, there's that quote. If you meet one asshole in a day he was an asshole if you eat if if everyone that you meet is an asshole you're the asshole <laughs> so yes um but Celine's books concern him uh either traveling or in this particular instance this book is about his uh his childhood and his role as a doctor um it involves all of the the weird <laughs> horrible people that he meets the society that he dislikes and the the sort of the unfortunate fact that he has to live in it. He's a remarkably bitter, hateful man, but he does it with such elegance that one cannot help but love it. The problem is, after the publication of um, his first two books, he began publishing anti-Semitic pamphlets. Now, these were not anti-Semitic in the same way that Merchant of Venice is anti-Semitic. These were anti-Semitic in the same way that Mein Kampf is anti-Semitic. They were horrendous. And the question is, what kind of line can be drawn from his first two books to those, and I think it's I think it's very simple. I think that the the kind of the hatred that he expresses in these books found an outlet in the Jews, but it was always there, um, and that's what makes these so controversial. It makes them difficult reads today, in a lot of ways. Um, they are they are artistic, but they are they 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 need to be appreciated with context, and and the author cannot be as such blindly praised. I really like this book. I think it has a unique place in in kind of my bookshelf. I think that it reminds me of kind of later authors such as Michel Huelbeck. Um, Charles Bukowski was also a big fan. But those writers were also arseholes too. So I think it's important to get an arsehole perspective on life. Um, <laughs> just for a change. Just for a change. But also, I could not, I couldn't be a Celine super fan. I couldn't, I couldn't be, I couldn't live in this world all day. I think it's nice to just kind of have a, have a jaunt through it. I think it's nice to kind of take it in. But also, by the end of this book, um, I was, I was kind of tired. I was kind of tired of it. Um, so that'll be my review. I really like it, but... You have to understand the context, you have to understand the author, and you have to be willing. It, this book is like sitting on the bus next to an old man, and he's complaining. And he's complaining in hilarious ways, and he's, and he's telling incredibly interesting stories. But, you know, at some point in the conversation, maybe half an hour from now, maybe 15 minutes, you're worried about things taking a turn, and this is what this book's like. This is, this is, this book is hate, just before the turn. <laughs> I recommend it, but yeah. Um, I one thing that I really also like about the book is the. Um, I don't know if you can see. Uh, yes, sort of. If you take note of the ellipses, the punctuate every page. This book is written in a rhythmic style, somewhat. Uh, in emulation of the rhythms of everyday speech, as such, it has a great rhythm to it. The the sort of tracks that the book moves along are um, stern and uh, driving, and it's just this book is like 
It's like being hit repeatedly over the head. But it, it's good. I quite like it. So yeah, I, I, I do recommend you check it out. And I recommend you look into the works of Selene in general. Again, as long as you can appreciate it. And as long as you um you realise to, to, to not sort of... <laughs> it's very... <laughs> the problem with Selene is that he is a favourite of edgelords. He's a favourite of, you know, 4chan and you know, young men that are confused about life, so they blame globalists and they blame all kinds of things. As long as you you don't do that, you take it for what it is. I think it's a I think it's an enjoyable experience, and uh, and yeah, I I recommend. So yeah, have a uh, have a good day.